Wacha nichukue nafasi hii ni mkaribishe Mweshimiwa majority leader wa senate Mweshimiwa Aaron Cheruyot Asante mweshimiwa ichungwa Your Excellency Asante thank you very much uh, Deputy President wetu viongozi ambao wako hapa Na kina mama wote wachama chetu cha UDA Naomba ni wasalimu wote hai Naomba ni wasalimu tena hai If you are seated next to a lady Tafadhali mpendukie na muambie You make yellow look so good <laughs> Eh hey, kabisa Yani Hii kikao inakaa mzuri sana Because of the beautiful women Of our party UDA First I want to appreciate Nitoe shukurani Kwa sababu kama vile viongozi wote wamesema hapa Mtu yoyote ambaye anajua historia Ya chama cha UDA Then anajua the place of women in our journey And the role that they played to getting us where we are So anytime there is an opportunity to stand Especially before the women of UDA You must always put up your hand and say Asante ni sana We really appreciate Thank you so much for standing with us Your Excellency Deputy President I will remind you a fact ambaye uyu our party chairperson always reminds us Najwa wakati mwingine tukio kwa mkutano Na as you would know many of those meetings are male dominated So there is a fact that Governor Cecily always reminds us When she wants to push the point of gender inclusion into the conversation And she always reminds us this In the run up to the general election Wakati ule tulikuwa tunashindana katika siyasa Every time tulikuwa nafanya ile inaitu opinion polls Na kufanya studies kuona how will we perform in this region or the other Every time we did a poll that is gender based Yani ya wanawake peke yake na wanaume kando Tulikuwa tukifanya ya wanaume peke yake The vote between Raila and President Ruto was always 50-50 Wanashindania moja ama mbili But any time you did that poll and had the women of Kenya alone voting, there was a 10-point gap between President Ruto and Raila Odinga. So I am right to say that Mwishimu Arigadhi Gashagwa, bila hawa wa mama, we unajua pahali wale watu wangekua wamekueka sahi. Ungekua kamiti. Waibu sahile unakuja kwa ungelesha, waangalie vizuri. Na pia kama huko mbaya sana, warudi nyumbani wakiwa salama. Eee? Sababu Bila hawa kina mama Tungekua minority Atungekua rais So atungekua so many things Tungekua tumekaliwa na wale watu wengine So we really appreciate what you guys did for us Na ndio maana We will continue to support The gender inclusion question In all our conversations Juzi tumekua katika mkutano Na huyu chair lady Mimi ngependa mumpigie makofi Our chair person governor Cicely in fact, kwa hiyo mkutano, after quoting that fact, is when the amendment was made Na kama mulifuata the grassroots, uh, the UDA Congress ambayo likuwa juzi They made a decision kwamba for every elective position Kama chair atachaguliwa mwanaume, vice chair lazima akue mama Chair, that point was pushed and successfully so by none other than Governor Cecil Mbarire Always reminding us Unajua, and that's a beauty Na unajua mweshimoe chungwa has said a, a fact and a point that I didn't know. Perhaps that's why it's always easy to convince us says that he is a minority in his house. I want to also confirm before the UDA Congress that I am also a minority in my house. I am a father of girls only. So your two majority leaders, eh, mambo yenu itakuwa raisi sana. Because when I'm doing it, I'm doing it on behalf of my own daughters. And by one day they will be seated where you all of you are seated. Sindio? So we give you our assurance, any uh, decision that you take today as a Congress of the UDA women, be assured that when it gets to Parliament, nobody will dare mess with it. Tutaipitisha vile mumeitisha. Be assured of that. Lastly, Your Excellency, is just to ask that as we go forward, we continue to uphold the place of our women in leadership. I agree with those that have argued and have said many times that in a contest between a man and a woman in any electoral contest the women always start from a very disadvantaged point 
wamama wengi sana wanapitia shida kwa ikifika wakati wa siasa na ni kitu ambaye we must always find a solution mambo ya violence during election time is a challenge that so many uh, women continue to face as we move in parliament and we do amendments to uh, political uh, parties act i give you assurance that we will provide enough legislation to ensure that when we go to the next election you our women will be safe while contesting hakuna mwanaume atakupangia guns na akubaliwe kushindana na wewe tena we will make the punishment so severe that no man will dare touch a woman because when they are contesting against each other even those of our women many of our women continue to face abuse i receive messages for example from our nominated members of our county assemblies that they continue to be insulted on a daily basis yet i know for a fact how hard many of them work to get our party where it is many of them your excellency you know that the women that you dear nominated to our county assembly they worked in our party office for more than two years without salaries they worked hard served us as a party then akifika kwa county assembly unapata mtu mjinga anamwambia you are nominated because of abdc abcd we want to say shame on such men kabisa and i assure you that we will continue to uplift you our women and make sure that you are comfortable with those very many remarks akina mama hoye akina mama hoye be assured of our support in parliament god bless you and have a safe journey home as you return thank you your excellency